Hi, right, Deadpreneurs, Adam Dix here, and in this video, I'm going to share, show you how to connect ManyChat with ActiveCampaign to grab not only email addresses, but also phone numbers. Really, really slick thing that I actually just learned today, and I have to share it in a video before I forget how to do the damn thing. It took me all day to figure this out. But anyways, let's dive right in. So, okay, we're going to get into ManyChat here, and you do need a pro account for this to uh, work. And what you're going to want to do, first of all, is go to Settings. We're going to go to Custom Fields. And you want to create an email address and phone number custom fields. As you can see, I already have them. Um, so you're going to go up here and click New User Field. Type in email. And just select this text here and hit Create. Do the same thing again. Open phone, phone number, whatever you want. Text. Hit Create. And you're, you're, you're done with that. Then what we're going to want to do is go to Growth Tools. And we're going to create a new Growth to Tool here. We want the messenger ref URL right down here. And let's name this uh, many chat to active campaign demo vid. And then what we're going to do is edit here. So this is the message here. So we want to say hey, and then I like to call out their name. So you can do these little uh, brackets right here. Select first name. And then I created something it needs to be a little bit tweaked just to save some time here. Um, so I'm saying, do you want access to a free landing page template that converted at 72.2% for me, a video walkthrough of a sex successful ad campaign and a free, no obligation phone consultation. Uh, I'm going to explain why I do this uh, in a second. And it's, this isn't the only way to do it. This is just kind of, uh, an idea I found online that made a lot of sense and I'll kind of explain it here in a few, uh, in a couple minutes. So what we're going to want to do is hit the add button here. We are going to want to, let's create the button title or change the button title. So yes, if they want uh, these three things here. And we're going to start another flow right down here. Start flow. And we don't have a flow set up yet. And nope, you can't create one here. So, so we have it this far. Well, let's hit publish. So let's go back one real quick. Okay, let's... All right, apparently it's not letting me publish without the flow. So just as an example purposes, we're just going to select this growth tool 12, uh, just, just as a filler one. Select this flow, and then we'll edit it after we create the new flow. So we'll hit publish. So that's published. Now we go down to flows. And we're going to create a new one right up here in the upper right. MC to AC demo flow. We'll hit create. And so what we did is we just asked these people if they want those three things and to click the button, uh, the click the yes button. If they click the yes button, this is the next message they're going to see. So let's make it a little fun here. Always adding GIFs is good. This is one I used earlier, even though I'm a Lions fan. I'm going to use Aaron Rodgers just because that was the first one I found. So again, they said they do want these three things in the three bullets. We're giving them Aaron Rodgers thumbs up. We'll say, okay, great. What is the, what is your best email? The best email to send over the landing page template and video walk through oops i make this mistake all the time you need user input this is that pro feature you're going to want to put that here i always do this by default so you can just um, uh, cut and then paste it up there and you can just delete this with this red x here so what they're going to do is they're going to enter their email if they want the landing page template and the video walkthrough. So we're going to hit click here and then what we're going to want to do is select the email field here. And what this is is so if they respond with a yes or if they respond with something without their email address, this is going to be the error message here. So it has to give a correct email address or 
a valid email format, not correct email. Uh, it's looking for the at symbol and then the dot com. So, and then this can be completely customizable. You can uh, set it up to however uh, you'd like. If you'd like to offer them a skip button so they don't have to offer that, you can select skip or type, leave it here, or you can just delete it and they have to. Uh, or then they, they're, there's no skip option. You're going to want to save response to a custom field. So what we're going to do is go down and select email. And then what we're going to do is give a little bit of a delay up here. So they just responded with their email. And if you want to change the time on the delay, you can just kind of go here or edit here, 15 seconds. I typically leave it at the three seconds and then it shows like the typing uh, delay in the, up, uh, the upper left corner here. So it looks like someone's manually typing and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab one more user input here I'm going to put it right there and now we want their phone number you could even add in another gif here up high you know they just added their phone number okay, thank you what is the best phone number so I can reach out to you for that free 15 minute consultation something along those lines now if you're working with like local businesses asking for a phone number is going to be a pretty common practice um, for other marketers they might be hesitant on giving you that um, so that's kind of the free 15 minute consultation um, but but people might just give up the phone number, although people are pretty private with it. But again, if you're working with local businesses, consumers shouldn't really have an issue because they know they're going to need to reach out to you to call you. And then you're going to go over here again and you can select uh, any of these. So we're going to do phone number here. And again, it'll uh, please enter a correct phone number if they give an invalid, you know, if they give 11 numbers or if they give six numbers or, you know, I don't know if it's seven or 10 that they need. I, I'm, I'm guessing 10. Uh, but if they give too many or too little, it'll give an error message. You can leave the skip button or you can delete it. It's completely up to you. What you're going to want to do is save response to a custom field. You're going to select phone number like we did in the first two steps. We created those custom fields. And then what you're going to want to do here is action. You're going to want to tag these people. And so you can add a tag and then you can just enter in whatever tag here. So this is what I do. Uh, I just created one called full lead, as you can say, see name, email, phone number. And what that does is after this person gives their phone number, it's going to tag them in many chat that I have their name, their email and their phone number. And what that's going to do, I'm going to show you here in the next video and Zapier is going to be able to pull that information, that name, email and phone number and send it over to active campaign. We're going to do a scroll up here to the right, click publish. And we are going to we're going to go back to growth tools real quick. I just remembered. Did I not name that growth tool? I thought I did. Let me check. Nope, I didn't. So let's just name this real quick. MC to AC growth tool. What we're going to do is edit this flow, click yes, and we are going to connect the flow, the, the flow that we just created here. So start another flow, select flow to start. Open this flow. Wait a second here. Oh, I'm back in flows. I apologize for that. Growth tool 12. Let me see. All right, so I'm back in Growth Tools here, MC to AC Growth Tool, and what we're going to do is click Edit. And we're going to click this Yes button. And I'm just going to delete this flow. That was that, that demo flow that I was uh, showing you in the first step just to close or to, just to be able to publish this. So we're going to exit that out. We're going to start another flow. I'm going to click to select a flow. And then we're going to look for this MC to AC demo flow. It's important to name the, the property. You know, if it's a flow, if it's a growth tool, if it's a sequence, just so you know which ones to select. Look like here, we're going to select this flow. I'm going to hit publish. I only want one flow on this one. Hit publish.
back to it. Apparently I had too many flows open. Select this flow, publish. Okay, as you can see, doing the video live, there, we finally got it. So this attached step right here, start another flow that goes to this MC to AC demo flow. Sometimes doing these live video, or not live videos, but recording these videos with the software, sometimes uh, it gets kind of frustrating, so I have to pause it. So, okay, now let's go back to Zapier, and we are going to make a zap. This should be uh, relatively painless. This should be a quick one. So we're going to select many chat. And what we're going to want to do is a new tagged user, that tagged, that full lead, that name, email, phone number. We're going to select here, hit save and continue. And we're going to connect an account. If you need to connect yours, just uh, click connect an account. Should automatically connect if you're logged into ManyChat. And we're going to drop down here and select that full lead, that tag that we just created. Click continue. Pull in samples. We'll hit continue. I'm going to add a new step. This we'll hit action and search. And we want active campaign. That's just what I use. The, a lot of email, Aweber, you know, a lot of them are very, very similar. Um, whether it's email, Git Response, Infusionsoft, Drip, con, uh, ConvertKit, uh, they're all very, very similar. Um, so you can pretty much follow this video all the way up to this point right here. And again, it's probably quite similar. So what we're going to want to do is create and update uh, a contact. We want to create a contact. You can also add the contact to an automation if you'd like. Let's save and continue. Connect your active campaign account. As you can see, I connected this one three years ago. Click save and continue. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select the list. Now I already created a list. I wanted to, I didn't want to go too long on this video. So I created one uh, many chat demo right here. And then what you're going to want to do is map out these fields, not all of them, uh, the, the ones that you want. So email address, we're going to click the plus sign here, and we're going to scroll down and look for the email address uh, right here. And then first name, we're going to grab right here. Last name, right there. Full name, I, um, I'm, I'm going to leave that blank. I guess if, if you wanted to, you could just put username in here, I think. Um, I, I would probably just leave that blank, though. And then here's the phone number right here. So again, this is going from ManyChat, getting name, email, phone number, and passing it along to ActiveCampaign. Or really just about, like I said, just about any CRM. Uh, I scroll past the phone number. Yep, right here. And if you wanted to add tags, you can do that here. And I have a bunch of custom fields in Active Campaign. I got to do some cleaning up. I'm going to hit continue. Scroll down and send test to Active Campaign. This should be fine. Oh, amazing it is. Finish. We're going to name this zap real quick MC to AC demo vid. I have a few, <laughs> few in there, so I want to add a two in there. And then make sure to toggle that zap on. And we are done. We're going to go to the email. So as you can see, uh, this is my ManyChat demo. Let's just make sure here. Okay, I had to move the video recorder out of the way in order to refresh the page. So as you can see, I have a demo in here. So I'm going to delete the lead out of, out of this um, list. As you can see, the list is right here, ManyChat demo. And what we're going to do is go back to uh, ManyChat. We're going to select preview, then we'll select open in messenger. And here is the message here. Kind of ignore all these. I've done, been doing a lot of testing tonight. Uh, hey, Adam, do you want access to a free landing page template that's converted at 72% video walkthrough? This is exactly the growth tool that we set up in ManyChat. So I'm going to select yes.
And there we go. Aaron Rodgers with a thumbs up. The State Farm. Nice. Okay, great. What is the best email address to send over the landing page template and video walkthrough? I'm going to select the email address right here. And then the little chat bubble is coming up and it's going to ask for our phone number. What is your phone number? I'm going to click here. And you know what? Now that I think about it, we didn't do a thank you um, message in uh, ManyChat. So back under flows. Probably should have added, you know, after they add the phone number, added a, let's do it real quick here. We're not going to see it in action, but I'll throw up a text here. Be on the lookout in your inbox for the template and walkthrough. Maybe put some, yeah, we'll just make a little smiley face there. And then we'll hit publish. Just so it finishes off after they enter their phone number, it's going to show a smiley, or, um, a thank you message with a little smiley face. I'm going to go back to email here. Let me refresh and fingers crossed. It didn't work. Let's go grab, <laughs> let's go to Zapier. We'll go to task history. Sometimes there's a delay on Zapier, so that certainly could be it. Let's refresh in this task history. So Zapier's not showing any zaps, which is interesting. So I've been doing this all night. And let me go back to Active Campaign, refresh. All right, I'm back. I figured out what the issue was. Um, do, do, do a little troubleshooting. It was because I had about six different <laughs> zaps set up because I've been testing this and playing with it all day and just had had way too many zaps. So it was kind of crisscrossing in that. So as you can see, I'm in the task history here, uh, 1123. Uh, if you could look at the clock right here, it's 1124. Uh, this just went through uh, literally seconds ago. Um, so it did work. I just ran it through. But again, like I said, I had a if you look at the zaps here okay I didn't have five or six I had uh, I had three total but these were both on and I finally figured it out that I had to unselect or I had to turn those off in order for those to work so let that be a little bit a lesson to yourself that you can't have multiple zaps trying to do the same thing or it's not gonna work like uh, like I did there so that is how you connect Active Cam or uh, many chat with Active Campaign to not only pull names, not only pull emails, but also grab phone numbers too. So really powerful. Again, you can do this with just about any CRM that connects with Zapier and just about any um, email software, of course, that connects with, with Zapier. So hey, if you have any questions, please post them down in the comments below. Happy to help. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, I know this one. I'll be honest, this one is a bit rough. I had a lot of issues with many chat. Yeah, Zapier was pretty good until that uh, that last little bit but uh if you like these types of videos mistakes warts and all click that subscribe button down below thank you